my YouTube channel. So today's video is all about breakfast ideas. So this is predominantly breakfast ideas for children slash babies because I am a mum of twins uh, who are one and they like their food like their mum. <laughs> but anyone can eat them so it's not necessarily just for children or babies and literally anybody could eat these breakfasts. Now this video is a collaboration with the gorgeous Kerry Weldale, who is also part of Channel Mom. But more importantly than that, she's a fellow foodie. So she absolutely loves food, just again, like me. <laughs> so I'm gonna be giving you my ideas and then I'm gonna link Kerry's video below so you can go over and watch Kerry's ideas, which will be just like family ideas for different breakfasts. So I'm going to be doing mine as a list and then I'm gonna pop up photographs of things that I've created before, and then a couple of them, I'm actually gonna do a cooking demonstration of how I make them. So, let's get started. Number one, cereal. Obviously, cereal is a really easy option for babies. Now, let's face it, sometimes we're in a rush and cereal is as good as it's gonna get. So, <laughs> if they're over a certain age where they can have cereal now and they're okay with solids and things like that, then these are the ones that I would recommend. So, first one being Wheat Bix. Mine love Wheat Bix, as do I. They also enjoy porridge or ready brick. And then the low sugar Cheerios they really like as well. And I'm just thinking if there's any others. They're the main cereal, don't really feed them any other cereal. So next thing, just a fruit and yogurt. I like fruit and yogurt sometimes myself and my boys are obsessed with fruit and they love yogurt. Their favorite fruits are strawberries, satsumas, bananas, um, what else? And they do like raspberries and mango as well. So. Their favourite yoghurt is actually a full fat plain Greek yoghurt, so those two things together they go crazy for. Then porridge fingers, so I'm actually going to make the porridge fingers. These are really easy, I make these all the time for myself and now I do them for the boys. It's just 40 grams of porridge oats and you can use one egg or two eggs, it depends how many you're gonna make. And then I actually add some fruit into the mix as well. Now you can either choose to use 90 millilitres of full fat yogurt if you're making them for children, or, uh, sorry, <laughs> you can either choose to use 90 millilitres of full fat milk, or you can use full fat yogurt if you're making them for children. So, Whisk the eggs and the porridge oats and the milk um, uh, or the yogurt, it's up to you. Pop some fruit in and then put it in a tub. Um, all of this I'm gonna show you in a minute. And then microwave it for about four minutes and then just slice them into fingers. So this is um, how I make the porridge fingers. You've got 40 grams of porridge oats, some raspberries broken up, one egg and a couple of heaped tablespoons of full fat Greek yogurt. So I'm gonna mix all that together and then just pop it in like a plastic container and stick it in the microwave for about four minutes. So that's what it looks like once it's all mixed together and it's in the tub. If you wanna make a healthy version, so if you're doing it for yourself and you follow me for Slimming World reasons, then just use fat free yogurt as opposed to full fat yogurt if you're not making it for babies. And also you can add different flavorings to it. You can add cinnamon, vanilla essence, whatever you fancy really. So this is what it looks like when it comes out of the microwave. Um, I did that for about three minutes, 50. My microwave is really powerful. It smells so nice. You can use milk if you don't want to use yogurt, but what I'm gonna do now is just slice it up into fingers. Uh, banana pancakes, so this is one of my favourite recipes that I have myself. It's so easy and the boys love them. It's one banana and two eggs blended. That's it. And then I use a pancake pan and I'll show you the pancake pan later because it's just easier. So I pop coconut oil in for the boys into the pancake pan. Wait for it, pancake pan is quite hard to say. Wait for it to melt, pour the mixture in, flip them over, job done. Then, another version of those that I make is to add porridge oats. So 40 grams of oats, two eggs, and then I put a little bit of milk in or a little bit of fat-free yogurt, and then flip those over and turn them into pancakes. Your other option is obviously toast, and I love toast. I personally love things that they can feed themselves, so toast is a winner. I put things like butter, full fat cream cheese and jam, I put peanut butter and banana, I do all different things as toppings. Um, they love scrambled egg on toast, they love uh, boiled eggs with soldiers, they love beans on toast. 
So all of those sort of things are a winner. What are you having this morning, Grayson? What? Scrambled egg and toast. Is that yummy? You look funny. And some Cheerios while it was cooking. Then banana toast. Now this takes toast to the next level. So, banana toast is where you blend two eggs and a banana, like a pancakes, but then you put some bread and either side you coat it in that mixture and then you pan fry it, a bit like French toast, but this is a banana version. Oh my God, it is so good, really, really good. Or you've got the option of normal French toast. So with normal French toast, it's two eggs and then I do a little bit of cinnamon or a little bit of vanilla essence and then put the uh, bread, don't know why I do that for bread, but put the bread and then the other side of the bread in the mixture and then pan fry it and serve it with fruit and yogurt. Um, the other option is pizza toast. So if you want a savoury version, grill, I like doing this, don't I? It's like I'm raving. <laughs> so grill one side of the bread first, then turn it over, and then top that with tomato puree, cheese, and then whatever toppings you like. So it could be ham, it could be mushroom, tomato, onion, whatever. Uh, and then grill the top, and then they've got pizza toast. If you don't want to use toast, you can use a pizza bread, or you can use a wrap. Um, avocado and poached eggs, so posh little babies. Uh, and you can chuck in some smoked salmon. So that's another option if your babies like that sort of thing. Obviously you can have that on toast if you want as well. So you've got your smashed avocado, your poached egg, and then some smoked salmon. I pan fry the smoked salmon, I don't ever give it them raw. Uh, and that's how I eat it as well. And they're just good old cheese on toast with some Worcestershire sauce. Who doesn't like that? Another option would be, you can buy um, fruit bread. So I don't know if you've seen it, um, it's, it's fruit in bread <laughs> and again you can toast it did everyone at school ever used to say to you i want you put in the toaster and then you go toast and they'll be like ah oh, it's not toast it's bread <laughs> it's reminding me of that okay little quiches so i used to make these a lot and you can have them for breakfast lunch whatever you can eat them hot or cold i used to do it with fat free cottage cheese but obviously for children you use full fat so you get a couple of eggs two or three and then you whisk in a tub of full fat cottage cheese. Then you get a muffin tray and you spray it with fry light if you're doing it for yourself or you can use butter, whatever. Um, and then line it with pieces of ham. And then you spoon in the mixture into that and then bake them for about 15, 20 minutes. And you've got these like really nice breakfast quiches. So that's another idea. Um, and then just buying them some um, croissants. Croissants, croissants. I always struggle to say that word. I don't know why. It's just one of those words that I hate saying. Ah, <laughs> from that down boy trying to speak French. <laughs> so croissants, croissants. <laughs> just buy your nose, cut them in half, and put in full fat cream cheese and jam. That's another winner. Uh, oh, ready brick. I forgot about ready brick. Then crumpets and pie clips. So, pikelets is such a cute little word, I love that word. So, uh, it's basically a squashed crumpet. So, crumpets with butter on or pikelets, I find are better. My boys find them easier to eat. So, just um, grill in the pikelets and then putting some butter on. These are a couple of options if you're short on time. Um, pikelets go down really well. So, pikelets and butter or scotch pancakes with either cream cheese, jam, peanut butter, whatever you fancy really, and just pop them in the grill and give them, them with some fruit and yogurt. Eggy bread raspberry roll-ups. I think this was from What Mummy Makes or What Mum Makes. Um, and this is really good. So I've done these quite a few times, so I'll pop some pictures up. Basically, you get your bread and you flatten it out. So you can use a roll-up pin or <laughs> slap it. <laughs> And then once it's flattened, you get a bowl and you whisk up some eggs and you put the bread, here we go again, <laughs> you put the bread in the mixture and then pan fry it, okay, are you with me? Then on the inside you put either fresh raspberries crushed up or raspberry jam, it could be strawberry, it's up to you. And then you roll it up and then slice them like you would slice a pinwheel and it's these like cute little raspberry roll-ups and they are so so, so good. So you pan fry it all, then put the filling in, then roll it up, then slice it, then they eat it. Not you, they eat it. Mm, I tend to eat it. <laughs> 
Uh, and then another option, overnight oats. So overnight oats is very much something that I have always done for breakfast in the summer. Um, obviously it's quite cold now, but this could be an option for later on. This is where you get a layer of porridge oats. You could use really bread. Um, so uh, Greek yogurt or you can use flavoured yogurt. Then a layer of fruit and then just keep layering it and leave it in the fridge overnight. I mixed it up when I gave it to the boys and they loved it. I'll tell you a little tip as well. If you haven't got any fruit, you know the um, puree pouches? Just get some of them. The mango one is so good from Tesco's. Um, layer the mango one in between. Wow. So nice, honestly. I was like, I'll just try a bit. <laughs> so boys, you can have toast. <laughs> and then the final idea is uh, pizza pinwheels. So a pinwheel is great for lunches, but there could be a breakfast as well. Um, so get your filo pastry, uh, whack loads of tomato puree on it, um, oregano, whatever topping you want, and then a load of cheese roll that up and then slice it and bake them in the oven for about 15 minutes on 200 degrees and they're really good if you want to freeze them and then warm them up i actually think they're nicer when you do it that way because it makes them a bit softer and that is all my breakfast ideas for children so don't forget to go and check out kerry's video as well and i would love to know in the comments below has this given you any good ideas for breakfast or have I missed anything? Is there something that you enjoy or your babies or your children absolutely love eating for breakfast that I've completely missed off the video? If so, let me know because I'm always looking for different ideas for the boys. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I would absolutely love it if you subscribed for more videos. Don't forget to give this one a quick thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And hopefully you'll come and see me in my next video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.